Hey, what is up guys? I am here to give you my... Well, actually, I'm not here to, here to give you a review. I'm here to give you a video. It's about the releases that happened yesterday. Um, I'm going to read it to you. It says, WWE has come to terms on the releases of the following superstars as of yesterday. Um, June 12, 2014. Um... So I'm just going to read off each name and I'm going to give my thoughts on each guy that got released. Or girl. The first guy, well the first WWE superstar that got released was JTG. By the way, I was going to plan on making this video today on the CM Brothers channel with Adam. He was supposed to have a comeback today, but he never showed, so I don't know what happened with that. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we'll, we will try again. It's always a uh, struggle sometimes, I guess. But JTG, if you don't... Know, you know, to be honest with you, I could care less if JTG got released. Um, for some odd reason, they ended up waking up a tag team he was in with Shad Gaspar called Crime Time. And I liked that tag team. I thought it was a different, a pretty decent tag team. And they were a good tag team. They fit together. They ran pretty decent tag team matches. I remember they feuded with Chris Jericho on the big show known as Jericho Show. Um, for the unified tag WWE tag team championships at the time that they were called, they had like a mini feud with the Hulk Dynasty, which was Tyson Kidd and David Hart Smith, also known as Harry Smith. Um, he also ended up uh, they also ended up feuding with guys like John Morrison and The Miz. They had like the one show going out. It was what the Dirt Sheet versus another show that was good, but. Then they just really ended the tag team. Um, and then uh, they had a match at Extreme Wars. The one guy won the match. And the one guy got released. And JTG, you know, he wasn't doing nothing. He was just stuck in jobber status. Um, so I'll be honest with you, I could care less if JTG got released. Um, next guy I'm not too happy with. And that guy is Drew McIntyre. I'm pissed Drew McIntyre got released. I mean, uh, here was a guy, Vince McMahon, called him the Chosen One. And they hyped it up. He was this Chosen One. They gave him the Intercontinental Championship. He ran with that Intercontinental Championship. He had this undefeated streak. And Vince McMahon was like his kind of like guy. He would help him out. Anytime, I remember like he lost to Kane in a Money in the Bank qualifying match at WrestleMania 26. And, um... Drew McIntyre, Vince says, that, they never ha that never happened, doesn't count. So then he had a match with Matt Hody. The same thing happened, he was undefeated. And then he had a match for the Intercontinental Championship that Vince McMahon handpicked, and it was some jobber guy. Um, and then he continued to impress himself. Um, he had Matt Hody suspended. He had a good feud with Matt Hody. I liked that feud. And they ended it awkwardly sometimes. And then, um, then, I don't know, he lost the Intercontinental Championship to Kofi Kinston. He just started going down and down and down. He had this big start in 20, 2011 where he ended up qualifying to get into the Elimination Chamber match for the World Heavyweight Championship. And he was doing good. He was on his hot streak. He won. He ended up uh, do, having a good showing in the Elimination Chamber match. And then he just went... Continued to fall down and down and down. Just co continued to go down the shitter. And, um... Yeah, he just continued to fall. And then, uh... I don't know. Yeah, and then, uh... All of a sudden, he was in 3MB. And he was used as a joke. We thought 3MB was Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, and Drew McIntyre. And, um... He continued to fall. 3MB was supposed to be these groups of guys that were trying to make themselves uh, bigger because of the singles career wasn't going as well and then uh, he just fell and then um, now he's gone um, I do see WWE putting him back um, putting him on NXT or something that's what I think that they should have done they should have just moved him down to NXT and have him build himself back up like they're doing with Tyson Kidd right now but they didn't do that um, so Drew McIntyre to be honest with you I'm kind of disappointed about now we have uh, Jinder Mahal, the same thing. He ended up getting released. The positive about this release is there's no more 3MB. 
The negatives is the one people from Three Young Diva who is why didn't you release Heath Slater? He sucks. Um, Shane Mahal had the same thing. He had something going for him, I thought. Um, Shane Mahal. Before he was in 3MB, he was in this gimmick. He had like the Muhammad Hassan gimmick, where he was the Indian guy and he had like control over the Great Kali. And then that ended too, so I don't know what happened with that. He had like Great Kali under his side, but no, it didn't. Nothing really worked out for him. He just kind of just fell down, used as a jobber, and same thing, 3MB for him, so. Sucks for Drew McIntyre. No, no, well, sucks, yeah, sucks for him too, but sucks for Jinder Mahal. Um, next one. Oksana, she sucks, I don't care. Uh, Kurt Hawkins, nothing for him. He was in a tag team with Zack Ryder. Um, then he was in a tag team, if you don't remember, with Tyler Rex. Uh, just remembered it when he got released. Then Tyler Rex left, so then he was pretty much left in the shuffle. And he just sucked. So, that's pretty much what I thought. Theodore Lawn. Um, I thought they could have utilized him a bit as a GM. I've seen his GM work. He's a good heel GM. But he was just being thrown around as the GM of Raw and SmackDown. Or maybe SmackDown. And it just was nothing for him. So, we haven't really seen him anyways. But we have Camacho. Um, and he doesn't play Sin Cara. That's Unico, Mitch. Um, yeah. I thought this Camacho was okay. Um, I thought it was decent. But he, he didn't really keep me interested, so I guess come on. Hey, Kamato was an okay heel. I thought he was holding pretty good matches, but uh, they didn't really have any throw for him, I guess. Lotus Clay, this one kind of makes me mad. You had opportunity after opportunity to do something with Lotus Clay. You could have made him a big dominant monster, but you, then you put him as the Funkasaurus. And we wanted him to be a heel. We wanted him a heel. We wanted him a heel. He finally turns heel. Goes nowhere, so... Yeah, that's the WWE's fault. If you remember this guy, Evan Bourne. He was um, a tag team champion with Kofi Kinson as a member of Airborne. Um, he was in ECW. Then he went to Raw. He held great matches with guys like Jack Swagger. ECW, I remember him having a good match with like Tyson Kidd. Um, Paul Burchill, I remember a good match they had. Um... And I remember he had like a little feud with Mark Henry where he was like the underdog and he would keep beating Mark Henry in his matches. Um, then he, but yeah, then he had feuds with Jack Swagger. He had a good match with The Miz. Um, Dolph Ziggler he had a good match with. Um, so, and he had this good tag team with him. I don't really know what happened with uh, Evan Bourne. He just disappeared. I think he injured his foot. And then he got suspended, so then we never saw him again. I see him being, though, big in the Indies, though. Like, some of these guys, like Drew McIntyre, Jinder Mahal. Maybe a set of other guys, but we don't know. Um, then the next one, Joshi Tatsu. Um, WWE used him when ECW was around, and then once ECW was gone, he just pretty much was pretty much sucked afterwards. Um, they dropped him out here, and then at any point they got to, so that's my thoughts there. And then we have the referee, Mark Harris. And I don't know who that is. So, yeah. Uh, those are my thoughts. Um, I feel kind of sorry for some of these guys because they could have been big in the WWE if given the opportunities. Um, but some I don't feel that bad for. Like JTG, Kurt Hawkins. I feel kind of bad for Camacho because I kind of liked him, but I didn't like him too much. But, yeah. Those are my thoughts right there on uh, the releases. And that's pretty much it, guys. All I have to say is, peace out.